frigid gust of wind that billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the fallen snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Yes, the snow line. It's pretty cold. I don't think there's anything we can really do outside of here for now. We have a clock. Still can't do that. We opened the safe. Did the thingies there. So oh, we got more puzzles to solve. My bad, I didn't see these. Um, Let's see. Four damage. Ah, there we go. Ah, the caged wolf. Here we go. Curious. We need that. Uh, let's see. If we move that... Can't. Okay. Okay, that worked somehow. Without having met her. This word carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Oh, yes, we will. All right. Uh, I do believe that's it for now. Perhaps it is time for you to understand that right now and until May 11th, there is a sale going on Steam for this game. 40% off, to be precise and other various bundle deals await you. If you are worthy to be one of my challengers, I dare you to click the link below in the description and purchase this game for yourself so that you may sit at my table and I will truly see your skills at hand. But until then, challengers, back to the video. Let's go and see the cave again. It's trial time, baby. We have bones. This time we need a bone cost collection of five to pass. The trial of wisdom. And the trial of power. You know what? Let's go power this time. Let the trial of power. We did it! Barely. Zero from the beehive, three from the wolf, and two from the bat equals a success! We passed! It's card time! <gasps> a mantis card! With the stinky ability! Yoink! We can do that play! And we're coming up to a mantis, uh, an enchant. Let's see. Item or enchantment? Enchantment! Let's get some more immortals. Hello! Hi! What's good? Hmm. How about... Hmm. What do I want to give immortality to? The beehive? I would always have an army of bees. You know what? That actually sounds like quite the nefarious plan. Let's do it! Just for fun! I gave the beehive immortality. Just for fun. But master! Can with the squeaky shoes. Okay, we got elk, raven eggs. They're all evolution titles. So you know what? Yoink. Let's just get the domination on the board as quick as we can with the Ant Queen, Shaka Boom. And then next turn, I'll play a Worker Ant. I'm not worried about all of this. Draw a Squirrel, play it there, sacrifice, get the Ant. And we'll just easily deal with these eggs so we don't have to worry about them. I'm not worried about that too, I'll take the hit gladly. I'll draw another squirrel. 
I'll play that. I'd rather play it there because I don't want to lose the worker ant. So you know what? <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, I'm thinking... The ant queen's gonna die anyway, so... That was a bad play, but how much damage is in, in effect right now? Hmm. Yeah, I, I fucked up a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just get our four damage and just be done with it. I do need to draw something for a sacrifice for... I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Well... Oh. Good play, he says, as I probably royally fucked up. Caged wolf. Uh, you can't really do much for me. Ow. Right. Ah, yeah, I fucked up royally here. But that's... Eh, not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. Ow. Alright, well, at least we're gonna deal with that. There we go, the beehive. I'll let the stout kill... Oh, no, it doesn't even matter because they're gonna all gonna fly, so it doesn't matter. Well, not gonna lie, that actually hurt me a lot. Oh good, Flocker, you're here. Okay, I'm three damage away. Okay, we should be alright. Yep, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine now, everything is awesome. We're back in control. Get some more points out there. And let's collect on those teeth. And look, the trapper. I got the most exquisite arrows. The first one's free. He upped his prices. Hmm. Would you be willing to sell me that knife sometime? Uh, let's see. What should I buy? Should I buy another golden pelt? I believe that's a yes. Oh, I got two? One, two, three, four, five. We'll buy some rabbit pelts too. All right, we're good. Much appreciated. No problem, sir. Okay, we have options. We have a very wide assortment of uh, uh, cards here. The merchant's this way. So I'm thinking we should go this way. And we get introduced to a new space. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited the fact that the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Uh, let's see. Nope. And, um, basically we must choose something to sacrifice. Oh, I didn't do the mantis point, damn it. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of something that's really not going to help us. Uh, how about... At least you can fly. We'll get rid of you. You callously slaughtered the coyote. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord 
You will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of a poor coyote and carried on once. Yes, when you run into those, you can give offerings to the Bone Lord. Determining what quality of card you have determines what kind of boons you receive. Here's a little fun extra fact. If you can get your hands on an actual black goat card and enhance it, and then make the offering to the Bone Lord, you can get some very valuable stuff. Alright, it's a totem battle. All of his deer cards have stinky. I don't think so, but okay. Oh, this ain't good. And he has Mole Man. That has the Borrower. When an empty space will be struck, it moves there instead. And it has Airborne, Mighty Leap, so it can block all things with Airborne. I don't like my chances at all. But. Uh, shit. I don't have a choice. I need the fast defensive quick. Eh, yep, there it is. Alright, um. Draw. Do I keep things as it is? If I do that, he's gonna attack and kill my. Oh, damn it. I don't have a choice but to play that for now. Uh, this sucks. doesn't matter the only way I'm gonna I have to I have to oh oh no mm. oh and I oh this is terrible I can at least block damage oh I don't think I'm coming out of this one. Nope. Not this time. But hey, I have two lives, so that's alright. Oh, disappointing. Yeah, he doesn't like the fact that you lose, period. Show me some exquisite pets. Hair pets. Here we go. Um, hmm. Beehive. Alpha. And the pronghorn. I'm going for its effect. Incredible. Golden pearls. <gasps> Mantis God! Mantis God! Yes! Come to me! Uh, the amoeba has the question mark ability. When a card bearing this sigil is drawn, this sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Uh, let's get the Ouroboros. You have my gratitude. No, 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 you have mine. Campfire song time. All right, this one is going to boost attack power. Uh, man, Mantis God! Alright, totem battle again. Hopefully this one goes better. Not again! Flocker! Yes! 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 Revenge is mine! Come back to my hand, Flocker. We have work to do. 
like summoning you again. <laughs> In me, pop. Doki. Uh, one please. Wolf cub. Not bad, not bad. Enchanting time. Let's see. What to enchant? Mantis god. Mantis god. Immortality mantis god. Immortality? It's a word now. stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but can you supply helps? It's Trapper boss time, and he is super annoying! He's got these strange frogs and the leaping trap which has the Steel Trap perk. When a creature bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well, and a pelt is created in my hand. Super annoying. Ooh! Although, I can deal with this easy now. With the power of Stinky, they don't provide any damage. Draw the possum card. Let's put the possum there. Kill these. Get the traps. The possum will kill that one. Do that. Play that. And let's see. Do I play the stout there? Oh yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh, wait a minute. I think I fucked up. We'll find out. Guess who fucked up? Sort of. Alright, I do need to start getting uh, some points, so. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We can probably use squirrels to block the adder, so. That strange frog isn't going to drain health from us. Uh, shit. What do I do? Do I take a turn? Uh, I'm going to have to. You know what? I'm just going to throw a pelt down there because I don't want to take more damage than I have to. The adder will kill it, even though it's already dead, so it shouldn't poison it. But, hey, who am I to tell the creators... How the game is. <laughs> no, the game's awesome. Alright, Adder takes the hit. I get a B. Draw. Do that. I don't have a choice. The Adder has to die. Perfect. And that will move. The wolf will deal its three damage. I'm not worried about it. Draw a card. Get my own wolf. Looks like he's run out of minions, so let's draw some of our own. Okay, good, 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 good. Whoa, 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 whoa! This again? Aw, oh, man. Well, this is where we die, I guess. Not gonna lie, that's a little unfair, but... You are the game master. Well, if I'm going out, I might as well just do something like this. Oh, I could have played the bat there and killed the bear at least. I could have killed at least one bear. The game did not like the fact that I was moving too fast. You are 
think an accurate score is a pattern. Uh, how many vodka shots did I do? Just kidding, I don't drink vodka. Stay there. No need to move. I am afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? Oh, you mean this thing? Alright, fuck you! Ah! Pathetic. Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Yeah, uh, the, the thing I uh, cr uh, skipped over is him mentioning the fact that the camera is never loaded with film. Your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Very well. Please choose a cost. Let's go bones this time. Four bones from the alpha. The power and health. Uh, the wolf. And the sigils. We're gonna get another evolution card. Okay. Trust me, this is easier than trying to type out hypernucleosis or whatever it's called. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Smile, you're on candid camera. Say cheese. Not much for trading, that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the Angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the Prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Alright, welcome back everybody, and uh, Stout, what's wrong with you? You're looking a little weird. Okay. Um, let me get off the table for a second here, and let's take a look around. Clock. Oh, the thing changed. Two corpse maggots and a squirrel. The safe is still open. Uh, what about this? Uh, is that supposed to be me or was that someone else? Oh, probably me from another life. Oh, the bone lord thing. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, 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 oh. Did I? What I do? You can't use that right now. Okay, uh, I guess I made him mad. All right, the squirrel still doesn't want to give me that. I solved all the puzzles here. Still can't access that one yet. Snuff that. For some reason. Ooh, more gold. Spin. Okay. Nothing I can do about those. All right, sit back down. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Wolf, deer, reptile. Ah, uh, let's go with the wolf. The Dauntless Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. Good boy. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Do you wish for something else? Uh, yes, actually. Can I? Okay. Oh, what's this? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. 
She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them briskly. Choose. You gotta be kidding me. We got the most broken totem in the game already. We have unkillable. And how totems work is that you need a specific animal head and creatures of that sigil or type will get that power. And since we have the squirrel head, we have immortal squirrels. We don't need anything else. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The unkillable sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Which means now our squirrels can also be used as effective shields. Behold the power of the squirrel totem. Okay, so what we need to do is that we need to somehow get our caged friend here out on the board. But we also need him to be able to attack. Well, to be attacked. Alright, let's grab this because... Just so we can get him out. And get a stink bug out. Not too worried about that. Draw. Play this for the bullfrog. And attack. Alright, draw. The bloodhound. Nice, nice. I uh, will keep the way it is. Bam, bam. Draw. Attack. Draw and attack. And we get some teeth. 